In this video, we're going to look at the new uh, recent post element inside Optimize Press. So this on the screen that you're seeing right now is the blog post recent post element that's included. And we've updated this to give it some new layouts and a few other features. Now this is how it looks currently inside the live editor. If I jump to this page, you can see here at the top, we've got some of these posts being pulled through. So that's currently what people are using. So in the latest version, what we've done, we've updated it and added some new layout styles. Now if I open up the live editor here, so let's go back here, scroll on down. You've got the old styles we're going through here. Then we drop down, you'll see the newer styles, they come start here. We've got five new styles. We've got another vertical one here, horizontal, horizontal like a larger horizontal, another vertical, and then another vertical um, layout. We can change all the settings on these. So they're the new styles there. And if I scroll on down the page here, you can see I've added them in place. We've got the different styles shown. This is a large image. You'll notice as I hover, they zoom in as well. So a few little um, effects added to these layouts. If we go on down, we've got this layout here. So this is using a vertical, but they're obviously wider, and you see it blurs slightly as we hover over. If I go on down again, we've got the bigger layout. You can see it zooms in those images. Okay, so a few different styles. Then we've got this larger block layout again as well. I'll show you that actually on the page. So if we go to the page, and you can scroll on down here. So these are the um, styles live actually on a published page and the effects pretty much you're seeing the same as you did inside the live editor. Beautiful horizontal ones there, so it puts your image full width of the content. So this now means you can include these blog post, recent post elements on your optimized press pages. So if you have a landing page and maybe you have a call to action somewhere in it and then further down you're showing content and then maybe you want to link through to some of your recent blog posts. This element allows you to do that and having some much more stylistic designs to your pages. Now let's jump in and change some of these layouts around. So if we take this one, for example, we can actually mix this layout up. So let's go and have a look at that one. Let's choose this layout, this big large block layout. Now if I go into the editor, and what we can do is change the number of posts per row. So if I set that to three, and then I insert, you can see what it does here on the screen. And um, because we've got five posts, we've got obviously an uneven number. It um, blocks the first three above, and then it lengthens the two underneath, so they fit the same distance width as the three above, which is logical sort of layout for this style um, of content block. And you can play around with all these other ones as well, changing layouts. So if I go to this one, and if we set that to three as well to see how it looks. Okay, so you can see it's split the three above and then it's lengthened these two below into um, to, to match the same width as a three above. And you can change around these styles. You can change the amount of posts that you want to show inside the actual element. So you've got the options here for the most recent posts or you can choose your own posts. You choose selectable posts and then from there you go down and you choose the posts that you want to show inside this element. So it gives you much more flexibility on the content that you're actually going to show on your particular pages. You can turn off to show the first 100 characters as well, and you'll also edit this title block here. If we switch that back, we could change this to say, most recent blog posts. Um, I've got it set obviously to five at the moment. You can increase that up to 10 as well. And we insert that. There you go, it now says most recent blog posts. If we save this page, go back to the page we were on there and then reload. And we go on up. You can see these are the styles I was just playing around with. So we've just mixed the layout up. There you go, it's a little animation. So it's beautiful, a lovely layout. These work so well. So it really can spice up um, your pages now. And you can obviously play around with these, change the settings that you want to, um, obviously include more text or less text. Some of these layouts will um, depend on how many blog posts you're showing. For example, if you try to switch this to a two column block, um, you might get a funny layout. So sometimes it's um, worth you know testing them, playing them out, having even numbers um, if it doesn't look right. But they, they are logically all lay out based off the width that you're currently choosing. If you're setting this kind of block to two columns, then it's going to try and position the odd blog post to match that of the two columns. 
but um, it's just logical is how blog layout um, similar sort of blog layouts will work but it really can change how your pages look now. You don't have to just have the vertical ones like we had before. You can mix these layouts up. And the beauty is as well, they work inside a blog post. So if you create a blog post, this example here, we scroll on down, you can see I added the element right at the bottom of this blog post. So if we were to publish this, this content would appear at the bottom. And again, I could change that layout around depending on the size of the blog, the width of the blog etc so that is the updated version of our recent blog post element and we really love to see this on your pages so if you do use it please do reach out to us we'd love to see it in action we hope you like it please post any feedback and comment below this blog post give us your feedbacks let us know what you're liking about it and let us know if you're going to use it we'd love to hear from you